How's it going, everybody? Last month, CountyCom reached out and said, hey, do you want to review our new GP7? And I said, yes, I do, absolutely. And it, it's a major upgrade from the GP5, which I personally purchased. Really good radio. Go uh, take the card link or the link in the description to that video. They also gave me some odds and ends, like one of these brass embassy pens. Really heavy pen. I wonder why you would want to carry a heavy pen. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, these are really cool. I already own one of these two. I bought this. Uh, I've given one away, and I think I've got a second one lying around, so we, we may end up giving another one away too. But CountyCom said, hey, um, thanks so much for doing that video. We've got a couple of other radio accessory type things we'd like to send your way to take a look at. And I said, sure, of course. So they sent another box. Okay, so I, I did open it to make sure I wasn't getting something um, else I needed to look at immediately. But once I saw that it was some stuff, I stopped and I said, okay, we're going to do a video. And now we, here we are. Okay, so <laughs> they, uh, they heard my comment, it looks like, that I really like glow in the dark. I, I made a mention, 80s kids love glow in the dark, and I already see a couple of glow in the dark things. These are accessories for the GP7. So they sent another glow in the dark case. So I don't need multiples of these. So we will give this away. So thank you for that. I believe this is the snap on case, the aluminum um, case that they have as an accessory. So we will also make that available for giveaway. Yeah, it is right there. Very good. Oh, and those are little side pieces that I forgot to install. Very good. All right. So look forward to that we'll have a, a gp7 special uh where you know what I'll, I'll give away a gp7 and uh we'll we'll do a we'll do a giveaway on these accessories too so somebody's gonna get hooked up with uh with a gp7 possibly some other goodies too all right <laughs> uh glow in the dark shears these are the county com um specials these guys the maritax the i've cut a penny in half with these they're, they're simple, you know, EMT shears. Uh, they work really well, though. They're, like, peened in place with a with a rivet here. The glow-in-the-dark is nice, though, because, you know, if, if it's dark or whatever and you had light on them recently, you'll be able to see them in your bag. So I, I do like things that are high-vis, day glow, etc., particularly when it's, um, it's dark out. All right. So very cool. Thank you for that. <clears throat> Another... One of the cases, the nylon cases, the ballistic nylon case for the GP7. So we'll make that available as well. This is a glow tag. Let's see this. Come on now, buddy. Man, the glow in the dark stuff is... <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. It's a cage 5VK B6. That's their cage code that they use for product ideas. This is a, a rubber tag. I have another one that is like a nylon based material with a, with a plastic cover. I like this, I like this rubber. I'll have to test this in the dark and see how it, it does. Uh, we're gonna wait on that bag because I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something fun with that. Oh, very cool. This is their micro pen. I haven't, I haven't seen this, so I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna try. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I'm trying not to mar the... There we go. So this is a micro pen. Goes on a keychain. Yeah. I wonder if this is... Let's see what kind of uh, ink cartridge is in this. That's nice. It's pretty small. Is it a space pen? It is a Schmidt Magnoline air pressure technology. So this is similar to that of a, uh, a space pen cartridge, which is under pressure, which allows you to write um, vertically. So why is it called a space pen? Well, it's because it was designed by NASA to be able to write upside down, um, or in the case of, you know, the space program in zero G. Hey, that's pretty cool. Cause it's, it's really light and you can kind of put it anywhere. Let's wind it back a little bit with its, uh, it's little key ring hole there or lanyard hole. I will lightly 
put it back in there. These capsules are, are also, I think they call them gear tubes um, or gear capsules. So interesting story about these. I, I came to learn, I don't know how I figured this out or where I learned it from, but when, when you buy a two liter bottle, uh, that's what this is. It's a two liter bottle blank. It's heated and you can actually kind of see the neck is thinner than the body and the body is, is a bit thicker. Well, if you think about the neck is really not gonna change, the body though is gonna get heated and expanded and that extra material they need to stretch to fill the size of a two liter bottle, that's what this is. So pretty interesting, these little gear vaults. I love these. Hey, a tiny compass that is definitely pointing north correctly. So already good. Let me see. These um, bubble compasses are sometimes kind of hit and miss. Yeah. Pretty good. Hey, that's that's doing really well. I may have to keep this one, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, what is this? USB battery charger. Okay. Oh, I bet it has to do with uh, that thing that's sitting to the right of it. This is a... Uh, it'll do 21.70s, 26.650s, and 18.650 batteries. So this is a USB micro to... Well, just, just USB. And it's a uh, battery charger that you can use on some larger batteries, particularly ones that you know they use in their flashlights. Speaking of flashlights... Looks like, whoa, this is a tri-floodlight 2170 flashlight. Interesting. I hope I got the batteries for these. Oh, it's 18650. I have the batteries for these. Uh, I know that there are lots of flashlight guys in the ham radio community that watch this uh, channel. Do you guys like floodlights? Uh, do you have a preference? Now, I, th I think, so <laughs> where? Um, I do keep a, a flashlight on my desk here and I'll, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> hey, look at that. Um, <laughs> so this is also a Maritac light that, that County Com sells. This is a Tri-Flood 18650 and this is a Tri-Flood 2700. Um, okay, so I bought this <laughs> and it stays in the, uh, in the garage here or in my shack uh, for when I'm, you know, dinking around and the power goes out. I'll always have a flashlight available. So literally, again, I, I, I do buy county comp stuff. All right, so yeah, I think the way these work is you, you pull off the, yeah, there it is. There's usually a liner. That is a tube spacer, I'm assuming, for an 18650. You could swap that out if you want. Let me grab a battery really fast and, and check this and test this. Ooh, that's smooth. That's buttery. Hold on. I generally carry or keep on me two types of 18650s. Those that have protection circuitry um, and those that do not. And largely the ones I pick and use are based off of um, what, uh, what type of light or what type of battery it can support. I don't want to assume Oh, am I supposed to pull? No, I did it right. Okay, good. All right, so that goes in like that. This is the one that has the protection circuitry, which is too much. That's why I checked this because it works, but it's too tall. That's the problem with these. See, the, it's too proud. It sits too tall. It doesn't really matter. You can take out that little insert and you can put a larger battery in there if you want. So there you go. Woo, buddy. Okay, so three settings and I think if you double press, yeah, there's the max output. So it's got a one click, two click, three click, back to one. And if you double click, you get max output. And this is a flood, so you're, you're gonna get a wide spread versus a beam. And I believe if you hold it down, hello. 
there you go hold it down and it shuts it off so about the same as the other um the other light i have does too does it mention lumen output now with it off you can hold this down for two seconds and you get moon mode oh helps if this is closed there yeah so moon mode is like super low uh low output so it, it has a low medium and turbo the primary light three modes pressing the back end button to access low medium turbo if you double click really quickly you get an extra brightness which it's it's not mentioning that here but i know that's how it, where it functions i don't know what the lumen rating is i'll i'll put that on the the b-roll or i'll put that on an overlay so you guys know what the max output is for those that are interested so if i yeah then it takes it into regular mode if you're in moon mode let's go ahead and, it's off now okay now i can ruin the battery uh odds and ends here we got let me get this out of the way. There is a bag. Oh my goodness, there's more stuff. Uh, there's a bag that I want to get to, so I'm going to put that on the side for right now. We're going to wrap up the show with that. Okay, so a couple of things. Somebody said uh, the promo code, they couldn't see it. It's VIP10ME, and it's a 10% off coupon, so check that out if you're interested. Um, like I said, I they sent me, now they've sent me two boxes of stuff, but I will uh, straight up tell you I have spent... I have spent gobs of money at County Com. Um, not affiliated with them, but I, I do respect their work. I have many of their products. So, um, so yeah, take that for what it's worth. Mini dice, they gave me a set of these in the last run. So we'll, we're gonna like give away all this stuff because I think I pretty much have everything here. Oh, these are Ranger Eyes, glow. Uh, it's like a glow button, kind of like Ranger Eyes. Small little um, indicators that people would wear that have like glow in the dark capability. So these are Velcro based. So you can kind of put these on your pack. Um, these look like they're designed to go up against on like something more hard, like a wall or a piece of kit or something like that. I guess you could also slap this on the side of a radio, be helpful that way. There's that County Com pin or a patch, Velcro backed patch. This is glow in the dark. I know that because <laughs> it's gone off on me. Ooh, hey, cool keychain. I think these also glow in the dark. Yes, they do. <laughs> they definitely got the hint on that last video, I'm telling you. Okay, and then these guys, so these gear trays. <laughs> Again, um, I definitely use me some gear trays. I put all kinds of odds and ends in them, and I've got them all over the place. I've got them at work, I've got them in my office, I've got them here in the shack. So glow in the dark, yeah, buddy. That's that's the way to do it right there. So that's, that's really cool. I love these because uh, you drop a part in them, I won't open this because I'm, um, I am I may give it away. But if you drop a part in here, it, it doesn't, it has a tendency to just kind of lay flat. It doesn't bounce. It won't roll off your table, obviously, because of the edges. But you can kind of drop things in there. And like I said, they, they don't they don't bounce out from my experience. So, and uh, let's see. Lastly, this looks like uh, a utility knife with a clip on it. Interesting. Oh, interesting. So it's a slide out with a... You twist the lock, and then you've got utility knife capability with some uh, replaceable blades here. A little nice assortment of blades. You you know I'm a uh, huge proponent of using utility knives, utility blades. I always have utility blades all over the place. I always have a nice knife on me, like a higher dollar knife, but. I'm almost always grabbing these little utility blades because they're um, they're just much more they're 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 effective for most utility jobs, and a lot of the time you just need to cut and then you know slide it back into your into your pocket and it just be done with it and get on with it. You don't need to use your sabenza or your your really nice bench made knives for a lot of box opening. In fact, whatever you're doing um, is is just degrading the edge taking the edge off the knife so utility blades are great because if they get dull throw them out who cares and the edge on these are always just uh, they're razor sharp of course they are because they are razors all right okay so the last item let's clear the the table here again man this is oh, oh there was an antenna this is a replacement antenna for the gp7 pretty sure now i could be wrong okay and, and somebody in the comments correct me on this one because you guys said this I, I i'm not making any claims here I was told that a lot of the, the antenna work that was done had some input from Ed Fong. 
And for those that know, Ed Fong is the developer of the very popular Ed Fong J pole, the roll up J pole, and the, the PVC J pole, or the, the antenna that goes in the PVC pipe. So let me know in your comments about that. That I was unsure of. It was a cool little note that came in when we were doing the review of the GP7. Somebody said Ed Fong worked on the antennas, which I was like, oh, hey, that's, that's pretty sweet. Good to know. Okay, so what's this other, they sent a bag, and you know we like bags here. We can't get enough bags. Okay, so got a bit of a Velcro piece right here. Slap that on, good. So this is a flat pack bag. with two pouches, two separated pouches, with a bit of hook and loop, um, the, the loop side on the front. This, I think, is an antenna coax bag. I think that is the, the purpose of this, which is pretty, pretty nice. Let me grab a piece of coax. All right, so this is the Chameleon Lefts antenna, which is an end-fed antenna, and a piece of coax that I, that I often grab when I'm, when I'm doing portable. Um, and I need PL259 connections. I don't know what happened here. What happened to you, Coax? You're all cattywampus right now. All right, let's get you back into line here. Yeah, that looks like you're gonna go in the back pouch here. Shove that in there. Good. Now let's see if the lefts will fit in the front. It might not, but we'll see. Oh yeah, it's gonna fit no problem. Oh, very cool, and it's a double, it's a double zip. So if you lose one zipper, you can just push the other one into the into the way. Cool. So that's um, you could make yourself a patch that would say NFED antenna or something like that, or figure something out and put that on there, and then you'd have a, a quick bag for grabbing a, a a complete kit, right? Coax plus antenna. Side note, <laughs> another County Com product that I bought. I think this is what they were calling their Dyneema bags. These I've used primarily for my roll-up J-pole antenna, which I've kept in here because it's kind of a nice size for that. I, I think you might be able to cram that in here as well. And then you have VHF, UHF covered in one, in one thing. I do like to keep that clip with it. I usually have a piece of gear snake. And hey, that's where that is. I was looking for exactly this connector. Hey, that's awesome. Okay. Glad we found that. Uh, this comes with a, this roll-up J-pole comes with a BNC female to BNC to SMA male. So you can go into a regular HT if you wanted to do that. I often leave it connected like that just for versatility. This is the only, really the only antenna that I would be deploying like that where I'd have, um, where I'd have to go SMA to BNC potentially, right? But also want the ability to switch back and forth. So if I went to my 705, I would want to be able to take this out and into the 705 and then go back to the SMA if I, if I needed to. Let's see if we can fit it in here. Oops, sorry about bumping the camera. I'm bumping everything right now. Excellent. Okay, good. This is like a full, this is it. It's like the full kit right there. So yeah, there you go. Oh, you know what? We're gonna go. It's always nice to have clips. Get you in there. And a little bit of gear snake never hurts anybody. That's it. Right there. Cool. Boom. Now that can go in a car. That could be a part of someone's POTA kit. That could be your whole your whole jam there for antennas. Awesome. You know what? One more thing to test. We gotta test out this uh this battery charger. Let me grab a battery bank. Okay. Got me a Jackery power supply there. Ooh, lights up. Okay, cool. Let's see if it'll take the standard. It likely will. There you go. Oh, you can change the, the amperage. Two amps, 0.5 amps, one amp. I'll leave it at 0.5 for right now. Yeah, all right. Thank you, County Con. This is uh, fantastic. So yeah, between, between the stuff you've already sent, and I think we're, we're talking about doing a, a giveaway for the GP5 or GP7, so we'll do something fun with that. And we've got accessories to, to go along with that. I will, here's what I'll do. I'll put a link in the description and we will put together a County Com GP7 kit. We'll include GP7, I'll include a, a flashlight 
and I'll figure out, maybe I'll let you guys decide um, the winner, which one they want, the micro pen or the embassy pen, decide how to do that. Anyway, yeah, appreciate you guys uh, watching, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, come on, there you go. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe, click that bell so you know when I go live, and I'll talk to you soon, all right? See ya.